This is Escape from Tarkov, and it took about 10 years to get this game to 1.0 and release it on Steam. But can we completely remake this game using AI in Unreal Engine 5 in under 10 minutes? Today we're going to find out. As always, if you like this content, make sure you subscribe, and if you want to see more videos like this, tell me in the comments. So, today, we are going to be chucking Grok and ChatGPT at Unreal Engine 5 and seeing if they can make a extraction shooter using one of the Unreal Engine 5 templates in under 10 minutes. In order to achieve this, we are going to be using a plugin that I have been creating for myself called the Revolt Unreal plugin, and if you want to buy this, link is down in the description. But basically, this plugin completely opens up the internal Unreal Engine controls to your AI. So your AI that you're using through Cursor or Windsurf or Klein or whatever now has the ability to edit anything inside of your Unreal Engine project. So let's see what we can do. To get started, of course, we're going to download Unreal Engine 5.7 and download the first person shooter C++ template for the beginning of our project. Once we have that downloaded, we're going to import that into Visual Studio and bam, here you go. I got Visual Studio on one side and I've got Unreal Engine 5 on the other. Now, to get started with utilizing AI with Unreal Engine, we are going to utilize our Revolt Unreal plugin, which we have down here, which also has directions on how to utilize it. So we are going to give this to Grok and we are going to tell Grok to research these directions so that way it understands how to utilize this plugin. Because this is a plugin that I have been creating, Grok is not trained on this, AI has never seen this in the world before, so in order for the AI to work with any new plugin like this, it needs to be fed the documentation. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to feed it the documentation. We're also going to move this into ask mode instead of agent mode because we don't want the AI making any modifications to our project yet while it is learning how this project is set up and learning how to utilize this plugin. All right, so here we go. It now has an understanding of the plugin. It knows how to utilize the plugin. And what we are going to do next is we're going to switch it to agent mode and we are going to ask it to start utilizing the plugin in order to learn about this project. The way this plugin works is it's kind of like a relay satellite. This plugin is set up so that way, while the editor is actually open and running, the AI can run commands in order to ask the plugin anything that the AI needs to in order to learn about the project. So you can see it is just initially ask the plugin what version it is and if the plugin is running, the plugin has responded, yes, I am running, this is the version. And now that it knows the version and how to start talking to the plugin, it's going to start gathering information about everything inside of the project. It's going to start looking at the blueprints. It's going to start looking at the levels. This is actually one of the best use cases of this plugin, not just using this to generate projects or edit projects, but to very quickly learn about Unreal Engine projects that would typically take you a lot of time to go through all of the blueprints and all the levels, this can very quickly give you a full snapshot of everything that is in an Unreal Engine project and how everything is currently working. And that is what we are currently using this to get. Okay, now, as you can see, it has finished its assessment, so it has a full understanding of all of the blueprints that are in the project, all of the different levels and assets in the project, and now I am going to showcase you a demonstration of the kinds of things that this plugin can do, not just in learning about a project, but also making edits, because this relay system, this satellite that we have installed to Unreal Engine, actually works both ways. So not only can it get information about Unreal Engine while Unreal Engine is open, but it can also issue commands and do almost anything that a human could do, but instead of using a mouse cursor, it is just using commands through the terminal. So in order to showcase this, I have asked it to go ahead and generate a test game mode with all of the files that it thinks it would need in order for a test game mode to be implemented in Unreal Engine. And as you can see, it is creating all of the folders. It is creating all of the different blueprints. It even has the ability to create actors and add things 
into levels, everything from logic to game mechanics to models or whatever else you need. And one of the coolest things about this is because this is being run inside of Visual Studio Code, you can also use local AI models with this. So you don't just have to use ChatGPT or Grok from the cloud that you pay for. You can have an AI completely for free running on your own system that can utilize this exact same framework to generate Unreal Engine projects and project files. It's really powerful when you start digging into it. However, we're not going to just have it create some random test level. We want to make an extraction shooter in Unreal Engine 5. So we are going to start by asking our AI to create the extraction game mode directory. And we're going to have it copy some of the existing levels and relabel them to be a home base which will be the level that our character can walk around in safely in between raids. And then we're going to have our AI create a raid level, utilizing the existing levels that we already have in the project as reference. All right, and it has already created the level for home base, and now it has also created the level for raid. We're going to save these files, and we're going to look at what it's created. All right, so it's duplicated the original level and the shooter level from the template for raid and home base. A pretty simple thing to do, but now we're going to start getting into the complex stuff. Now, we have our starting level, our raid level, but this is just a copy of the existing template. We want to edit this. Well, we don't want to edit this because we're lazy. We want to get the AI to help us edit this. And because the AI has full access to understanding everything about this level using the plugin, it also can create scripts that can help us edit the level in really any way that we want. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to ask this AI to utilize the plugin and do a full analysis of everything that is inside of this level. So that way, when it does have a full understanding of every single actor, it can help us edit it or even create a new level utilizing the same actors. So it's running all of these scripts interfacing with the plugin. And now, as you can see, it has all of the information about everything that's in this level. It can see all of the jump pads, the NPCs, the spawn points, all of the static meshes, and even the lighting inside of the level it has a full understanding of. And now what we're going to do is we're going to ask this AI with its new understanding of the level, we're going to ask the AI to start helping us edit the level. But the cool thing about using AI with Unreal Engine is there's a wide variety of ways that the AI can interact with Unreal Engine. And it could utilize the plugin directly to make changes, but Unreal Engine also comes with a very strong Python module, which now our AI, which has all the information that it has, can utilize in order to build very precise targeted scripts to modify really anything about the project in a very efficient way. So one of the first things we want to do to take this from a default level that came with the template that we downloaded from Unreal Engine to a custom level that is more fitting for our game is customize this by taking out a lot of the assets that are part of that template. So we have asked our AI to create a Python script that will delete all of the assets except for the level critical assets like the sky, the spawn points, and things like that. So this Python script is something that you can launch using the Unreal Engine Python module. You can execute the Python script directly by simply running it here. And you can see all of the logs of how this Python script actually worked in your output log. So you can see that the AI wrote a script that detected all of these assets and deleted them. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can have the AI write scripts that can do anything, not just deleting assets. If you want to create utilities, if you want to create shortcuts, if you want to create anything that doesn't just generate or edit levels, but might even be things that can help you as a developer, you can have the AI create any of those kinds of scripts or utilities on the fly while you're working. And just to illustrate this a little bit further, we're going to show off another functionality that you can use AI for inside of Unreal Engine, and that is creating C++ classes. And this really allows you to do basically anything inside of Unreal Engine using AI. 
Now, you can only do this with C++ projects inside of Unreal Engine, which as of this moment, if you're working with AI in Unreal Engine, I highly recommend working in a C++ project because the things that you're going to be able to do is substantially expanded. And just to show this off, I have created a test actor C++ class, and we are going to ask our AI to create for us a simple showcase of what you can make which is really anything, and we're going to create a placeable fire effect. Now, this doesn't just have to be a fire effect. With this, you can create game mechanics, you can create particle effects, you can create entire playable characters if you want. This is what really opens up Unreal Engine, where you can do basically anything that you need to do in order to make any kind of game that you need to make. And this is something that would be useful both for people who have no development experience at all, in addition to people who have substantial amounts of development experience and just want to quickly create utilities and tools that you can build for your project. So here we go. This AI is now developing our particle effect that we're going to be utilizing. As you can see, it's now completed. And in order to utilize this inside of Unreal Engine, and the only thing that we need to do in order to get this working is press this compile button, which will compile all of the C++ code changes and make them usable in game. All right, the compile completed successfully. Let's drag this in. And there you go. We have a fire effect. Now you can see, we've got this issue with it. it, it we have this cube that is inside of this fire effect. We don't really want that. But that's the cool thing about working with AI in Unreal Engine. If there's anything that you want changed or tweaked, you can just ask and it will make the edits that it needs in order to change whatever you want changed about anything that you're working on. All right, here we go. So. It's made the change. We're going to go ahead and we're going to compile this. And we should see the cube disappear and the change is made. Hopefully it successfully compiles because if it doesn't, then we have to go back to the drawing board. Boom. There we go and it's gone. So now we have this perfect fire effect that we could use inside of our game. We could put it on a car. We could use it for, I mean, I don't know, an, an explosion effect, really anything that we want. And this is the coolest thing about using AI with Unreal Engine is you can not only use it to create games, but you can create individual ingredients that you can use in any way in whatever game that you're making. So it's great both for beginners and for advanced developers. But with this test completed, we're going to go ahead, we're going to get rid of this, and we're going to create something that is going to help us build out our extraction shooter game. So let's do that. I have now created two empty C++ classes. I've created an extraction point and a procedural level generator. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to direct our AI to build us a pretty simple system where we're going to utilize the existing assets that are already in the first person shooter template, that it has utilized our Revolt plugin to get all of the information about that it needs. And it is going to generate a level utilizing those assets and also utilizing this new extraction point logic that it is also going to program for us. And the way the extraction is going to work, it's going to be pretty simple. If you make it to the extraction point, it will transfer you to the home base. And then later, we're going to create another raid deployment class where you can deploy from the home base to a raid. And once we do that, we will have created a full extraction shooter game loop in roughly under 10 minutes. And we'll also add it to utilize that fire blueprint that we had it create previously to create a plume of smoke to mark the extraction point. And that's also a really important aspect when you're working with AI is to keep previous projects, previous blueprints, previous successful generations around so that way you can easily use that as reference for when it creates new creations. Now we're going to click the compile button. We're going to compile all of this code. And since the compile just successfully completed, we are now going to go to our C++ class folder, and we will look at the two scripts that it just created for us, drag in the procedural level generation script. And as you can see down here, it's actually created a bunch of buttons inside of this generator, and we can click generate level. 
and there we go. So I actually have a lot of experience getting it to generate level generators, so I know exactly what to ask, and I also have some references that I can supply it to make sure that it has good generations right off the gate. I will actually put some of those references up as a download on my site. Again, link is down in the description. But here we go. Now we have a procedurally generated level, and we have the same NPCs from the FPS template that comes with Unreal Engine 5, and we now have this extraction point, which hopefully when we go into this, there we go. We get transported back to the home base. Now, the only thing that we have left to do is create our raid deployment blueprint, which is basically the exact opposite of our extraction point. So what we can do is we can actually use that extraction point code and use that as reference since we already know that that works and ask it to create the inverse. Now we want to create something that we can put into our home base that will allow us to deploy to a raid. And then when we get to a raid, we can get to the extraction point, go back to the home base, and we'll have a complete game loop. So inside of our editor, we're going to provide it with the references that it needs to the successfully created extraction point. And then we are going to ask it to do basically the same thing for our raid deployment point, but inverse. And now that it has a successfully created script that it knows works, we can actually continuously supply that as examples of the correct things that it should be doing versus examples of things that do not work. And the more successful generations that it gets, the better and better and better it's going to get at creating additional successful generations in the future. Because the more examples it has of good practice, the better and more consistent it will make future generated code as you continue to work with it. So now it's generating our new class. And as soon as it's done generating and we compile the code, we are going to load up our home base level, which we have in our extraction folder, which our AI created using the Revolt plugin before. And we're going to drag in this raid deployment class that it just created. And now we are going to give this a little bit of a play test. So there it is. There is our raid deployment zone. And when we walk into it, it takes us to the extraction raid level, the raid level that has the extraction point in it. We're going to kill some guys here really quick just to test that out. And then after we are done with our raid, I'm going to get this last guy. Come here, guy. Once we are done doing our raid, we can go to our extraction zone and we are back at home base. So there we go. There is our completed extraction shooter game loop that we just created in roughly 10 minutes. If this is something that you want to try out for yourself, make sure you join our community. We have a Discord server down below. And if you want to get started, developing projects inside of Unreal Engine, make sure that you go and pick up our plugin. Link to buy it is down below. And if you are a company or if you are a developer and you want to get more information about how you can improve your development workflows using AI, you can book a call with me. Link is also down in the description and I look forward to talking to you. Thanks so much for watching the video and I hope to see you guys again here soon. Cheers.